Hello, everybody. My name is Teresa. I'm the owner of Trilada, and thank you for joining us for our third uh, First Friday Facebook Live. Um, tonight, we'll be talking about what we have coming up this month. Um, we are, oh, it's getting me options here. Um, right in the middle of my video. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to be talking about what's coming up this month and the next month. Um, we're talking about classes and events, um, the different open sales we have going on, some guest instructors, new products, uh, bringing a sale, and of course, we'll have some giveaways. So um, let us know you're here and we'll let you know when it's time to say something and enter into our giveaways. So um, another thing I wanted to quickly mention too is we have changed our hours again just a little bit, not quite back to pre-COVID hours, but very close. So now instead of um, keeping that first hour um, open for private appointments on every weekday, we're switching it to Wednesdays. So now we'll be open 11 to 4, Tuesday through Saturday, and on Wednesdays we'll be open 12 to 6 um, with that first, that 11 to 12 slot um, available for private shopping appointments for those of you who would still like that. And um, other private appointments are going to be um, uh, outside of business hours. So just give us a call and, and we can set that up with you. So we're back to being open at 11 for everybody. Okay, so um, we keep adding stuff to our calendar and um, we will continue to add stuff as, as we um, f fine tune everything. Um, and hello, people. Hi, Christy. Hi, hi, D. Um, Michelle, Laura, Yolanda. Lots of lots of good people here. Hi, guys. It's so good to see you all. Jerry and Jerry. <laughs> nice. Um, oh, and a quick shout out to um, the Front Range Modern Quilt Guild. I know you guys are um, starting your retreat down in Monument, so. Um, Hope you guys are all having fun. I'm looking forward to getting to come see you guys tomorrow. So if there's anything special you want me to bring besides what I've already got collected over here for you, um, please let me know. Um, not from not here, though. I probably won't see these messages in time. But, you know, message me. Get Amy to message me. I'll bring you whatever you want. Um, okay. So, um, Kimberbell. Let's talk about what we've got going on in Kimberbell. Um, you know we're, we're in love with Kimberbell these days. Um, it's mostly machine embroidery, but they also have some sewing um, things that you can do. So they're also sewing versions. Um, right now we are participating in their fill in the blank club, which is really fun. So blanks are um, items that they make that we can embellish. So like tote bags, and then we um, embellish them. So this was January's item. Um, we still have those available, and we make little kits too. So we, we put together kits um, with these fabrics and colors and everything in it. So um, you can get those as well. This was February's um, fill in the blank, and there it comes with an, um, a set of two. It's, it's like towels that are a set of two. It comes with a pink one, and it comes with a green one. And so I had fun and did something on um, my green towel. And this is from the curated collection Citrus and Sunshine, I believe. Um, so that was really fun to do that. Um, March, it's the cutest. Shelly made our sample for this one. Um, it's a little bunny busket, they're calling it. And it uses their canvas tote bag, but you sew it together in this neat way so it becomes a small basket. And it's two-sided. And so we, this is a little velveteen bunny, a little velveteen rabbit. And so we put together kits to go with this too. So that's, um, that's March and um, April. So, you know, they come up with these limited edition blanks. This was a limited edition color. These were limited edition towels. The March canvas tote, that one was not limited edition, but I'm really excited about April's limited edition amethyst velveteen pouch, zipper pouch, cactus love. Isn't that the cutest? Um, I'm going to order extra of those. <laughs> it's so cute. And then May is um, a velveteen quilted pillow cover. So I'm not sure how that comes, if it's pre-quilted. Um, but that's going to be pretty fun, too. So that's coming in May. All right. And um, we, so that's a club that you join. And then you, you know, buy the items when they come out each month. And we're not really doing a separate class for that. But we do have our machine embroidery open sew that happens on the fourth Tuesday of the month, I believe. Look at our website. You'll, you'll see when it is. And um, 
that is free and you just come to that and you can work on this project or any anything else machine embroidery Kimberbell or not um, and like I said we are loving machine embroidery here this is a little book I made <laughs> it's, it's a little book um, so we're doing all kinds of fun stuff with machine embroidery and um, okay so oh we have some events planned we have five more events on the calendar that you can sign up for right now we have three one-day events one of them is coming up later this month it's called a day at the fair and you get to make the cute little hen um, pot holder this towel I am in love with this towel it is so cute you're so sweet I could bottle you up <laughs> and um, this one I still need to finish sewing it together but it becomes a pie carrier you sew it together differently like this and then carry it and it it holds your pie and again so cute so that event is coming up March 21st um, and they had um, three brand new events they put out this year we just got done with one um, garden guild we have summer nights coming up May 16th that's a new a new event and then in um, there is a two-day one coming up in August the end of August that's home sweet haunted home so it's another Halloween themed um, event and that's going to be really fun um, there are a couple other events that are still coming up um, there's another one day in September pumpkin spice and everything nice and then in July we're doing a two-day um, oh here's this pumpkin spice and everything nice fall themed pumpkin -y. Um, and then uh, the two-day one in July is Kimberbell's kitchen and um, oh I have an apron over there maybe someone could grab that and bring it over here and I can show you <laughs> that when it makes it over here um, that's one of the many projects in that two-day event um, okay, so those are the events we have coming up, and ooh, it's time for a giveaway. <laughs> okay, so anybody who would like to, oh, yep, and there is the apron. I still have to iron it. Don't look too closely, but isn't that cute? Um, so that's one of like six or seven projects in that event, so um, that's going to be a fun one. So we have a little giveaway, um, so tell me what you love about Kimberbell or what you're excited to for us to do something we don't have on the schedule that you'd like to see or just tell me I just want to win um, but really we do want to hear from you so please let us know um, what you would like to see with Kimberbell and we're giving away some Kimberbell felt and these are really fun to use and actually that's used on so we have velveteen on one side and that was just from our our fabric here and then we have some Kimberbell felt on this bunny right here um, so three rolls of felt guys put your names in there um, Tammy I don't know when you can reorder you can talk to us I bet we could get it um, pre-ordered for you uh, we have not seen those yet I believe I think that red white and bloom okay we haven't seen them yet but but give us a call we'll get it pre-ordered for you <laughs> All right, we'll give you a couple minutes to get those comments in there, and then um, Sydney will let me know when she's drawn a name, and I'll let you know who won the felt. Okay. Um, all right, so other events we have are classes. Um, we ha Well, you know about our open sewing nights. It's $15 to hold your spot, but you get that money back toward product, and we have a bunch of different open sews. Look at our website, sign up. It's really fun because... You get to just hang out and sew with people around you. We've been doing it pretty much only on Zoom, but we're starting to let people come in and do some of these events in-house as well. So what we do is we have anybody who wants to come in here, and then the rest of the people are on Zoom, and everybody's just hanging out at the same time, no matter where you are. So it's been pretty fun. Um, clubs. The clubs are still going on, and it's still worth it to join at any time. Um, we've got the bag clubs. So we have... Um, for the Buy Annie Bag Club, and don't forget our buy, forget about our Buy Annie Basics class. That is a great one to take before you take the Buy Annie classes, or even if you've done some before. It's just really good. We go over all the basic techniques, and um, people have been really enjoying the the confidence they have when they leave that they know how to how to do these things. So um, we still have in the Buy Annie Club, we still have a bag um, left this month, and it's the double zip gear bag. Here is Sydney's lovely squirrel version I wish we had this fabric left it's so cute <laughs> but that's coming up I think it's March 16th it's uh, what do we do third Tuesday for the mm -hmm. the buy any ones um, next month so that's April we are going to be doing undercover that's the sewing machine cover and then in May May would be the next month we're gonna be doing um, take a stand which I have Sydney's right here 
So very nice, cute bag. And, um, and then the next month we're going to be doing running with scissors, which um, Take a Stand was actually designed for this to, you open it up and you lay it out on top of this triangle A-frame. <laughs> and then um, all of your tools, let's see if I can do that. You don't mind if I just you expose your tools here, do you? <laughs> ah, there we go. Okay, so the idea being that it sits on top of the Take a Stand and you can access it. And um, a great idea, and I believe Tula said um, she does this, is it's you put, if you put it on like your little rotating cutting mat or some kind of a lazy Susan, then you just spin it to whatever size you want to, um, whatever side you want to get to your, your tools. So that is a pretty nice bag. So we're doing, um, we still have the double zip gear bag, then we're doing the machine cover, then take a stand and running with scissors. Where did the pattern go? That's okay. You, you, saw, you saw the real version. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so that's coming up the next few months in by Annie. And then um, in the Explorers Bag Club. Oh, and we have a winner for the felt. Um, Katie Ortiz, you have won the felt. Congratulations. We'll have it waiting here with your name on it. Thank you. Okay, congrats. All right. And um, so in the Explorers Bag Club, we have, um, we just finished the Traverse Bag yesterday, that class. And so what we have coming up um, uh, in April, <laughs> what month is it? <laughs> it? We have the Wherever You Go Wallet. And um, here is one that Sydney made with some new Japanese fabric we got in and some velvet ribbon. And then um, we've got some little pockets in here. And she added this little thing on here um, so that you can, and she hasn't quite finished the key fob yet, but the idea is that this will become a key fob and, um, you can attach it as a little wristlet, ah, a little wristlet strap on the wallet. Um, uh, so that's coming up for April and then May is going to be fanny pack. Welcome to the eighties. Um, I'm excited about this. It's going to be fun. And it doesn't have to be a fanny pack. You can wear it over your shoulder, crossbody. Um, so this is going to be a fun one. And then, um, okay, so that was April, May, and then June is member's choice. So one of the things we did this year is, um, well, what, what Sydney did for the Explorers Club is that twice in the year, it will be member's choice. So everybody will um, submit suggestions and all the club members can um, submit suggestions and then we'll vote and that will be June's bag. So that's what's coming up in that club. Um, we already talked about Kim Bell fill in the blanks, fill in the blank, um, Alabama Channon Club, that's a free club. We just get together right now over Zoom and just work and trade tips and things. Um, and then um, we have a, a little bit of a change. Originally we had put together a Dear Jen sew along, uh, but we have a lot of people requesting to um, make other other Jen, Jen Kingwell patterns. So we have changed the name of it to the Jen Kingwell Collective and you can work on any um, Jen Kingwell quilt you want and it'll just be kind of a sew along group um, get together for tips and tricks and camaraderie. So that's, that has changed on the website now to the um, Jen Kingwell Collective. Okay, so with classes, I think I mentioned we've started adding some in-person opportunities so we'll you know when we sign up we'll start going down the list from the top and the first four people who want to be in person will be able to be um, in person so sign up early if you know you want to be here in person um, right now we're allowing up to four students uh, live and the rest on zoom so in all classes for the rest of the year we have we had already decided at the beginning of the year we'll all be on zoom um, so if you want to you can do that um, so we have um, at least one guest instructor right now um, signed up to come teach a class. She's going to be teaching garment sewing and it will be a four week class um, every Thursday starting March 18th, right Sydney? March 18th? Yep. Something like that, yep. if that's a Thursday. Yeah, so I'm um, going for four weeks and you'll be making um, a pajamas, a woven um, bottoms and knit top and um, you're going to learn about how to make patterns fit you and we're going to be talking about all kinds of things to do with garment sewing and that's going to be kind of like the beginner um, you know getting into it class you'll get a lot of great information and then um, a week or so after that ends 
then um, we're starting another class with her that will be all about making tops. And then I believe the goal is for the next one to be bottoms, back pants, yep. pants, yeah. <laughs> so that will be um, coming up later this month, and that's I'm, I'm hoping I get to take it. Um, okay, we've just added an intro to sewing class. We're going to be teaching pillowcases because that's a great, oh, and look, here's a pillowcase. Just handed to me. That was awesome. <laughs> Pillowcase. So you know we have our pattern that we put together. Um, so we'll be teaching from that, and it'll be a great class for anybody who just wants to learn some of the basics of sewing. Um, a lot of straight lines, and if you know any beginning sewers or people who want to learn how to sew or you know just got a machine, this will be a great one. Um, oh, and we've got tons of kits to go along with it, so you can either buy one of our kits or um, we can help you pick other fabrics too. But that is going to be a great class for beginners. So, um, you know, I think like teenagers, older kids um, could join too, um, but it is meant to be an adult class, beginning sewing. All right, and then <clears throat> we um, are going to be doing a beginning, an intro to quilting class as well. And um, the pattern we decided to use this time because it's just super simple and easy to accomplish um, and really cute if you pick some fabrics that you love is um, this pattern right here. And just, you know, features the fabrics, nice big pieces, fast to put together, um, lots of straight lines. We love straight lines for beginners. So that's, gonna, that's what we're going to do. I don't believe that class is actually on the website yet, but it will be very soon. Um, the pillowcase one did make it on. Um, okay, and then if you um, have bought your Bernina from us, your sewing machine, your embroidery module, um, and we now have sergers too, you are able to take our free Get to Know Your Bernina classes. So... Um, I believe our next Get to Know Your Bernina is going to be in April, and then the um, Get to Know Your Embroidery module will be May, and then um, depending on how the sergers are going, we may have that in the next month. So um, if you bought a machine from us, let us know. We will sign you up for free. If you did not buy it from us, but you still want the class, it's $50. So um, you can just sign up online for that. Um, all right, let's see, quilting skill of the month. So the one that we have coming up this month is foundation paper piecing. So I love foundation paper piecing. It's just a great way to make very precise blocks um, that you don't really need as much talent for because you're just following a line on paper. <laughs> it makes it nice and straight and precise. So we love that. And okay, guys, I have to tell you, Sydney's color theory class, I took it. It was a three week class. I loved it. Everybody in the class loved it. We got so much more information than we thought we were going to get and made a cute project while doing it. So this is the project that you can make during class. Um, but really, this was a very small part of the class. It was, um, you know, we were, we were mixing paints to make colors. We were learning about color history. We were learning all about um, color relationships and color theory and um, and people in the class have already been applying it to their sewing projects and quilting projects and having a ton of fun with it. So it was an amazing class, totally worth the money. <laughs> you get a kit that has paints and brushes and colored pencils and fabric and a hoop and it's it was really a lot of fun. So I highly recommend it. Is that on this that's on the schedule already, right? On the yeah, on the website? I believe it is. I think we hit go on it. Yeah. Yep, so it's on there. You can take it in person or over Zoom and you pick. Um in online when you when you sign up for it you pick if it's in person or on zoom um, and we have a, another giveaway because color class needs a colorful jelly roll <laughs> it's pretty it's just a really nice blender really simple blender you can use it all together mix it in with stuff so love it who loves a jelly roll and who loves color <laughs> tell us tell us in the comments and we'll get you in the drawing for this awesome jelly roll Okay, so we um, pulled together a few new products because we wanted to show you some new products. Some things that we literally were pulling out of boxes late this afternoon, just so we could show you. <laughs> uh, we haven't entered them into the system yet, so don't look for them on the website tonight. But, um, okay, this is a new collection by Gingerber. It's called Dwell in Possibility, and we ordered, um, unwrapping it, because you need to see how pretty this is. Um, we ordered a bunch of yardage. I don't remember if we got every bolt in the collection, but if we didn't, we should have, because these are really pretty. Um, let's see if I can show you kind of what it looks like. But look at this, that, that's metallic. That's metallic ink in there. These colors are gorgeous. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can, how well you can see the colors and everything, but it's just so, so pretty. So 
Um, we have the pre-cuts. Do we have just the fat quarter bundles right now? Or we don't even really know. We're trying to get through all the boxes of new stuff back there. <laughs> we're, com might. we're coming we in on run. Sunday <laughs> on our day off so we can get through those boxes back there. But um, lovely colors. I love all the metallic in there. The combinations are great. Um, really love this collection. I remember when we saw it and we ordered it, it was just so pretty. Thank you. And Heather unwrapped it for me. Thank you. This is another one that just came in. Um, it's called Faith, Hope, and Love by Sue Daly. So if you're not familiar with Sue Daly, I know her mostly from a lot of her paper piecing projects. And she's um, she designed the um, Abbey with, with someone else. And I'm sorry, I can't remember the name right now. But um, she did that Abbey collection with that little girl with just really cute fabrics. Um, look at these colors, too. It's just so, so pretty. Um, and just lots of good colors, cute designs. Um, so excited about that one too. And did we get bolts of this one yet? Or uh, no bolts? No bolts. We do have other precuts as well. No, so we, we got bolts. Of we that. got bolts. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. we got bolts of that one. But we did get all the other precuts too. We got all the other precuts too. Okay, and... awesome. And then this is by Tamara Kate. Um, the collection is Ariel, and um, this is a kit made from the fabrics, so you can kind of see what the fabrics look like. But really, again, really fun colors. She's kind of got that um, nature, um, you know, moths and bugs and insects and stuff too, just like gingerbread, but different, a little different version of it. And um, I do have some of this fabric, but here, here, here you can kind of see there's a little, a little cute butterfly moth sort of a print. And ooh, we got a bunch of new Charlie Harper in. We've got a few bolts that we grabbed to show you. Um, so these are all organic. They're made by Birch and it's Charlie Harper's artwork. Look at these otters. It's Nurture Volume 2. Nurture Volume 2. And look at these otters, mom and a baby and a crab on the head. And I'm pretty sure that's a sea urchin. <laughs> it's adorable. Um, oh, the, the giraffe. The, gir the mama and the baby giraffe. It's cute. And hippos. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we have a winner of the jelly roll. It's Jerry Schlichting. Congratulations. All right. Um, okay, oh, we got, okay, so we, we told you last time that we love um, Natalie was so hungry hippie, and we have a bunch of her vinyls. So this one's a clear one with some glitter, and then we've got some that are, you know, more um, opaque. Um, and we just have a ton of her vinyls. So come in and see them because they're all gorgeous and fun to use in projects and bag projects. And I, um, I have some. I used marine vinyl when I made this, so they're great for use in embroidery too. Um, and ooh, these zippers. These are are new. They're from So Quirky. Um, and she is, I believe in Australia and, um, makes the cutest, the cutest patterns and she's come out with these zippers. And of course, um, she's from Australia. So these are three meters, not yards. Um, so we have one that is blue and white stripe with silver, uh, teeth and pulls. We have black and white with gold teeth and pulls. And then I've already used this in a project bag with with some of my uh, So Hungry Hippie vinyl. <laughs> um, it's like peach and white with rose gold teeth and pulls. So these are new, these are awesome. We have some from her too. There's some that's black tape with like a rainbowy, um, rainbowy teeth and white tape with the rainbowy teeth. Um, so those are really fun. Okay, is that it for the new products for now that we, I mean, we've got a ton, but we can only show you so much, right? <laughs> More next week? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, yeah, we have the new Allison Glass in. And, yeah. Sunprints. Sunprints Sun Sun Prince Prince 2021. 20, okay. Um, so Bernina is having a sale right now. So those of you who don't know, we're a Bernina retailer and we have machines. Um, so right now they're doing, for this month, 20% off of Bernina 500 series, 700 series, and 800 series. And um, the Bernina Q series, the long arm machines, those are also 20% off. And the Bernina and Burnett presser feet. So those are all 20% off right now. Um, so good deal. Come and get them. <laughs> all right. And is that all we have to talk about tonight? We just have some more giveaways. Hmm. So I know. 
And have you had any classes coming up that, um, oh, the book cover. That is not a Kimberbell design. That is from um, String Theory Fabric Art. But um, because I'd done the Kimberbell stuff, and they're so step-by-step, -step, and they tell you exactly what to do and when, it was really easy for me to figure out how to do this because I'd done the Kimberbell. Um, but if you have any questions, um, let me know. I'm happy to talk you through it. Um, okay, so here's a giveaway. And I think you guys just tell me you want to enter the giveaway. We have a couple more things to give away. And then um, we'll just pick a few names from all of you who say you want to win something. <laughs> so we've got this bag. This was something I picked up at market one year. And we have um, <clears throat> this little um, charm pack, Nova, from Basic Gray. And this has some really fun colors in it, kind of like greens and blues and mauves and rose, um, burgundy. Um, so this is a fun collection. We do have um, some bolts of this collection still. And, oh yes, this guy, this is fun. So this is made out of some of the fabric that we carry here. It's a laminated cotton. Um, it's an apron. It's already made. You don't have to do anything. It's just an apron. You're just getting an apron. So be great for artwork, um, anything. Oh, maybe a dyeing, a fabric dyeing class would be fun. You, you've, you're protected. <laughs> um, yeah, we do we do sell the fabric. We have, we have that exact fabric on a roll. Um, and then we have some one yard cuts we've been getting into. Look at how cute that is. Laminated cotton. Um, Okay, so we had three items. Yeah, three items. So um, Sydney's going to let me know when she has those names for me. And um, what else? Um, so I um, hesitate to even say this out loud, but <laughs> we're getting so close to having a new location. Um, we were, we're working on details for one that will probably happen. So. Um, I'm not going to tell you for sure something is happening yet, but we're super, super close and it would be bigger and it would be, um, there'd be some pretty good parking and we're really excited. So we hope it happens. Um, we'll let you know for sure, of course, once we know for real and, um, but it would probably be within a few months if it happens, there would be some construction and then we need to get in and do some stuff and then the move. So, um, that's what we're, that's what we're looking at. So how's it going over there? Got one. Yeah, you've got one winner? And then, and then, okay. and then it went to my video game screen. <laughs> I can't get out of it. Oh my goodness. I don't know what this is, but I don't want it. Diana. Okay, so the winner of this tote bag is Diana Chambers. Congratulations, Diana. We'll have this waiting here with your mm -hmm. name on it. Do we ship to Diana? No, she's local. She's local. So, okay. Where's Marie? Um, for um, the, well, next the next item yeah. is, what's the last name for... Um, for this guy right here, it's Rosemary. Yeah. And oh, Although I think Rose you just got the Marie. Marie kit. Right. Yeah. I think she already got the kit. So. <laughs> oh, she got this kit. Yeah. Can you give her something else? Um. Well, Rosemary, what would you like? Would you like, like. this or the apron? <laughs> she already got the kit, huh? <laughs> I know. Like, what are the odds? <laughs> okay. Um. Well, we'll we'll wait and see. Uh, what what she'd like there and um okay and what else guys are there, were there any other questions that came up that you saw or um, oh we're gonna give away another thing oh okay, okay. just one more and then one other thing um tell me call her stop stop carmen martinez for Okay. Something. All right. So this is, it looks like Rosemary has taken this. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. And, <laughs> and then, um, I'm sorry. Uh, Carmen Martinez. Carmen Martinez. You, you have won the apron. <laughs> Congratulations. And, okay. Um, I guess we had one more. One more thing to give you guys. Oh, one more? Okay. Say so that again. Call or shop, stop when you can. Hmm? Somebody say stop. stop. Someone say stop. stop. Oh. Oh, I see what you're doing. Um, Susan Brooks. <laughs> okay, so um, this is the other item that we're giving you guys. It's one of our rulers. It's perfect. Put a pin in it. 
Um, these are great. They're just little rulers, easy. To, I have a bunch of them in different bags and by my machine. And so these are really nice. And Sue Brooks, you won the ruler. Congratulations. All right. Awesome. Okay. Did, um, the aprons for sale. We don't have the aprons for sale, but we have the fabric we can sell you so you can make your own. Amy, I know how much you love making aprons. <laughs> Any other questions I'm missing? We, we do have other aprons for sale. Though. That's true. We do have other aprons for sale. We actually just got some black and white polka dot and red and white polka dot aprons. We got them with the idea of using them as a blank for embroidery or other embellishment. Um, but they're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. And are you seeing any other questions I, I should answer? I do <laughs> Amy. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, look at this. Here's one of them. Red and white polka dots and black and white polka dots. Yep. Yeah, they're pretty cute. That'd be fun for that, um, Kimberbell's Kitchen, the mixer. That'd be really cute on there. I love them. Please wear the famous apron. Are you talking about the one you made for me, Amy? <laughs> yeah, I, I really, um, I really need a new apron <laughs> that I wear at work. It's, I apparently lean against the counter um, and totally wear through my little pen holder. You can see the pen through the fabric. It's kind of sad. Christy wants um, to do this every Friday. Every Friday? That would be awesome. <laughs> if you knew how long it takes us to get ready for this silly little thing. <laughs> yeah, Christy, yes. You come plan it. We'll... Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can hear Sydney, but she says, hey, Christy, you come plan it. We'll do it every Friday. <laughs> we would like to do more. We'd really like to. We're feeling pretty busy over here these days. And this is, um, this is super fun for us. And we hear that you guys enjoy it, too. So that's awesome. So we're going to keep doing it every month. We promise, um, but more often than that, we really want to. So we'll let you. We'll let you know if we we want to do some demos and tutorials and things. Oh, perfect! Every <laughs> Christy's Friday, coming. Get great people. <laughs> Every Friday. Yeah, there. Yeah, there should probably be some cocktails involved. Oh yeah, and, totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll bring the cocktails if somebody else plans it. <laughs> I'm glad you guys have fun. Thank you for letting me know that too. It makes me feel good. <laughs> All right. Um, anything else you guys want to see that we can, I can, I can send people to go run and get for you, for me to show you. Um, I think any more new stuff that we, oh, hey, should we give them a sneak peek, uh, Shelly, of the little um, goodie bag they get with their, oh, with yeah. the day at the fair event that's coming up March 21st? Sneak, sneak peek. We don't have to show them everything, just... Just bring it on over. Bring it on over. <laughs> um, okay, thank you. We'll just we'll just do a quick little little. Oh. <laughs> All right, new art gallery fabrics. Um, what laminated cottons do we have? Um, we have. Well, they're on big rolls. That's going to be hard to bring over here and show you. <laughs> <laughs> They're on long tubes, but I'll send you a picture. Let me know and I'll send you a picture. I'll, I'll, I'll text you a picture. Um, new art gallery fabrics. I don't think we had any new ones come in. Or did we? Did, oh, those are cute. Yeah, bring that stack over, please. I like to send my lackeys to do stuff. Oh. 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 Mutiny. <laughs> Just kidding. Mutiny. Just kidding. Cut her off. I love all these guys. <laughs> Cut her off, yeah. <laughs> Hang it up. Okay, here we go. These are, I love these. They're so pretty. Um, so you'd like more, know more information about what, what is the day at the fair? fair? That is our next Kimberbell event that we're doing. That was the one where we're making the pie tote that gets sewn together like this. And so you carry a pie. I carry it like this. <laughs> <laughs> carry a pie. Um, and the little. Lackey's hot. I'm going to reply to that one and yeah. say. I, I really work for them, let me tell you. Um, and then this little guy, yeah, don't don't show them that I haven't finished sewing it together yet, okay, guys? Um, and then this is just the cutest. So these are the items that you make in the Day at the Fair event. So, um, and those you can do whether you live in Denver or not. We If you sign up early enough, um, <laughs> 
sad. Did you you made a sad face, the lackeys. I'm well, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm kidding. <sighs> okay. Um so you don't have to be in Denver. We can if you sign up early enough, we can mail it to you. Um the post office is a little crazy right now. Shipments are sort of delayed, so give us more than a week, please, <laughs> if we're shipping it to you. Preferably two weeks. And if March twenty first, that is so we're just mailing, a little over three, we're two weeks. Tuesday. We're mailing Tuesday. Shelly says we're mailing Tuesday. So if you want to do day at the fair and you're out of town, um, let us know please, or sign up. Sign up so we can ship it to you. If you're in Denver, not as big of a deal. Um, so, and we, we, let's see, I think we're still doing that one over Zoom. So, but if you're in Denver, you can just come pick it up whenever, um, whenever you're ready before the event because we have the kits ready to go. <laughs> And all right, guys. Okay. Well, I think that's it. Oh, that's another new one. Ooh. Look that at that. Good. Oh, this is cool. Look um, at this big bundle from Michael dumb Miller. Dumb 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 dumb. Is this the one they call Dumb Dot? Mm. Oh, Garden. Garden Pin Dot. Garden pin dot. <laughs> Michael Miller has some funny names for their dots. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Lackey Dot. <laughs> Lackey Dot. <laughs> um, yes, Maria, you can pick up the kits now. We have them ready to go, right? All the oh. day at the fair. We'll Our, we, 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 we will go. on Tuesday. No, we will. Tonight. 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 Oh, so tomorrow. So tomorrow you should be able to pick it up because um, we'll be open 11 to 4 tomorrow. And oh, when is the Easter? Oh, so the Easter bag, this is ready to pick up now. So in, see, <laughs> tote bag and kits. Ah, here we go. Kits. Um, so these are ready now. So those of you who don't know about fill in the blank, um, you buy the, the blank, so then you get the design for free, and you can do either em uh, machine embroidery or sewing, your choice. And then um, we put together these kits in the colors that, that we've used. <laughs> and then um, you can just buy a nice, easy kit without having to pull everything together yourself and buy big tubes of glitter and all that. So um, these are ready now. And you can order these online. If you're part of the club, you get when you the day that you buy this, you get 20% off of any other Kimberbell stuff, and that includes these kits we've put together. So it, um, we are not allowed to discount the blank, but we discount our kit and any other Kimberbell stuff that you buy um, during you know um, in your order or during your pickup. And if you if you order it all online, then we refund that 20%. So if you just can't wait, go ahead and order, and then we'll refund the difference. All right, I think. Are we good? I think we're good. Um, I think we're good. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining us, everybody. It was um, really nice having you interacting with us. I love connecting with you guys this way. Um, I hope to see you soon. And thanks for all your questions and suggestions and, and all that. And congrats to all the winners. So we will see you for sure in a month, um, first Friday in April, which I think is the second. Oh, okay, I shouldn't be guessing on dates, but we'll see you next, um, next month and have a great night. Bye guys.